All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again. The story of the day is the Penn State Nifty Lions, man. I might be saying their name incorrectly, but listen. Penn State defeated JMU 3-2. to two. Penn State defeated University of Maryland 3-1. to one. They're playing against UVA. Now, it has been well stated that this is the best this is the best UVA team that we have seen in Leeds history. Christian told me straight up in an interview that we had about two weeks ago on Wednesday. He told me man to man, current NCAA player to former NCAA player, Shadeed, my team is top five. And I got some athletes and we won four games and we want to smoke. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, because I, I had to tell him this in person, I'm now telling you this live, okay? Anyone who knows me and my history knows that I've been very critical of Penn State over the years. I have to apologize to Penn State. I have to apologize to them, because they're proving me wrong. I made zero predictions throughout this entire tournament, but I've been very critical of Penn State for not playing East Coast tournaments, especially when they're only two and a half hours away from Towson. Christian told me, Shadi, we're going to play four games, we're going to have no breaks, but we want to smoke. They're currently 2-0. and They're playing against UVA to try to go 3-0. and So Penn State, as well as the fans, as well as the alumni, as well as the parents, I apologize. I apologize. We're about to get into it. That's a kill right off the bat, number 25. Grown man throw right there. Okay, Boomer. That's his name. One year, one year. And right off the bat. Good block. That's a catch by number 25. Okay, Boomer. And that quick transition is very quick. And just like Christian said, he got some athletes on the team. And the jersey all beyond sweet. Number tw number seven with the throw. 55 looking to throw, block, good throw. They're going with DC, y'all. They're going with DC. He took a shot, and he gets the catch. Wow, what a throw, and he will get it back. Penn State is extremely quick. Like Christian was saying, he has some athletes, and they're quick, y'all. Team throw. Goodness gracious. Can UVA handle the onslaught? UVA only got two balls. Team throw misses. But their offense is quick. Quick and aggressive. Nothing. Got Jake though. My goodness. Should be better. There we go. Uh, sorry. Jesus. Too much. Too much offense for Penn State. Just too much. And, Jane, and, uh, and UVA is only down to four. Miss Rowe. Oh, but it's a catch. It is a catch. It is a catch. Team throw 
Bills from Penn State has been absolutely been amazing. Three plays left for Jake. Oh, close. Three plays left for UVA. Team throw. Did not get him. Good block. Got him. Two players left. There's two people left for UVA. Team throw. Got him. One player left. Good block. Kelly, last player in. Another throw. And that's a kill. State up 1-0, as they say, because I got to do this correctly, y'all. I got to do this correctly for the one time, as they say, we are Penn State. All right, back to the crowd, Mike. Okay, Boomer. Ooh, he got hit. Jake goes down. Ooh, that's a catch. Oh, she made the catch. He did not get it on camera, but she made the catch. Number 25 is back in the game. Number 25 taking out number three of UVA. My goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. I right, make sure that nobody's bleeding. Definitely make sure that nobody's bleeding. Here we go. 
Sorry about that, Jake. Got him, team throw. Got him, another kill. Woo! Got lit up. He take his out. He will take his out. Another kill for Penn State. Woo, that's a kill. Another kill for Penn State. That is a catch right there. Hey, it up. What a catch by Kelly. Grown man makes grown man decisions. Here it comes. Four players left for UVA. If Penn State win all four of their games today, they will be the number one team in the country. Yeah, Penn State jersey looks amazing. We don't know. No, he did not. Just kind of miss. Let's slow it down just a bit. Good block. Oh, he's extremely fast. That's right, we are Penn State. That's right. That's right. That's right, we are. We are Penn State. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You already know. If you know, you know. Got him. The team throw worked successfully. Woo! Good throw by number 17, Dad. He got clapped and got sent to next week. One play left for UVA. They're going to split his vision. Oh! Oh! We got that on camera. Dad with the cross. With the cross. He never saw it coming. He never saw it coming, y'all. 1 0 in. Oh, sorry. Sorry, got too excited. 2-0 in favor of Penn State. Yeah, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, someone please tell UVA left side to watch their cross before 55 kills somebody. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, 17 did exactly what you said what's going to happen if he wasn't paying attention.
Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it, it you know it happens. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, this No matter what happens today, Penn State will walk away as winners. They already got two key victories, JMU and the University of Maryland. They're looking to add UVA as another victim to that. That's a throw. Whoa, he missed. Uh oh, Woo! man, he was willing. Oh, good kill by good kill by uh, UVA. Much needed. Penn State is definitely looking to push the tempo aggressively. They do not want to slow down, and you can't blame them. Wow. He's ready. Woo! Yeah, Jake. Jake doesn't want to throw today, but when he wants to, he still got it. He still got it. He doesn't want to throw today, but he still got it. Oh, that's oh, that's gutsy right there. Woo! Penn State is pretty much playing aggressively on the front line. They do not even care that they may not even have ball control. Whew. Oh, what a catch! What a catch! Taking out Jake Coleman, the captain of UVA, once again. Not bad. Not bad, Penn State. Not bad. Man, they got that high ting offense, man. We ain't talking about no 87 or 89. This is beyond 93. That's a kill. Another kill for Penn State. And unfortunately, this is not a popular game because a lot of people, oh my God, that's another kill for Penn State. This is not a popular game, but for those of you who are tuning in that are Penn State fans, y'all in for a real treat. You finally get to see what the noise has been about. A team who is probably one of the deepest athletic teams that we have in the league, but they figure out the secret sauce, the strategy that is needed to complement their style. And even though they play very aggressively, it's with a sense of control. And as a result, they can just methodically take down their opponent and not even care about ball control because the accuracy of their offense is so overpowering that they actually have the luxury to take risks. It's been a long time since I actually seen exciting college dodgeball like this, with the exception of Cincinnati being coached by Wes Peters. Last time I seen exciting offensive like this in dodgeball had to be in the good old days from JMU back in the 2010, where they just go berserk. But let's see how Penn State is gonna operate when they have to be defensively minded. Let's see how they're gonna respond. Oh, he saved his teammate though, Miss Kesta. But he saves his teammate. Stagger throw, no dice. Single throw by number 63. Good block. Christian, good throw. And he gets his ball back. All right, so offensively, Penn State is on point. Not really a lot, 
not really a lot of opportunity that they had to play defensively since they've been controlling the tempo. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. Oh, man. That's not going to work. He just missed, but not by much. Penn State arms might be getting just a little bit tired. Ooh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Christian, take it out. Number 60, Kelly, that exchange. Well, throw, but that is a catch. That is a catch. Jake, understanding the situation. He's looking to throw. Oh, God! He did not care. And just like that, Christian takes out another player. This time, number six, Jake. Jake, I guess his, I guess he's feeling better now because he's he's out here throwing. He understands that the situation is bleak. Wow. Oh my God. Penn State looking to go. I think. Jake. Whoa! Wait a minute. He caught it. He caught it. Christian takes out another player. Whoa! Christian is on fire. He is feeling it. We are Penn State. We are Penn State. Oh my God. And they finally made me a believer, y'all. Jake was back in and was quickly taken out by the captain, number 28, Christian. Another kill. Is it? It is. Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but he was already out. No worries. Here it comes. Number 63. Good pump fake. Very athletic. Good block. Team throw just misses. Yeah, Jeremy, 28, Christian, he can catch. Woo, got him! Team catch! He had possession long enough, it's good. Woo, he got clapped! The cross work! The stagger team throw. Woo, what a block! Number four, T. Sizzle blocked that ball with conviction, man. They line up for the team throw. Nothing. They're just waiting. Here it comes. Somehow survived. Three players left for UVA. Team throw. Ah, uh, just didn't quite work that time. Here it comes. Woo. Not bad. Not bad. seconds left. They're trying to get this point. All right, ball's over.
God bless. God bless. I think Penn State can actually get this point. There's one minute and 18 seconds left in the first half, but I think they can get this point, y'all. Oh boy, fantasy football. Oh well. How much time, once again? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, um, Ashley. Much appreciated. Definitely appreciate the support. 118 left in the game. 118 left in the first half. All right, anywho, Penn State on the attack. Team throw. And they got at least one of them out. They got at least one of them out. All right, so UVA got one player left. Yeah, um, for those of you who were entertained by the Towson UVA game, Towson JMU game, but you're not watching this game because you don't think that Penn State is exciting, shame on you. Shame on you. I'm just, I'm just saying. Shame on you. We don't get a lot of opportunities as an organization to see Penn State play, but we only, we only, get, we only get to see him on on this court today, on this game. I'm glad they're still bringing the energy. Anywho. Uh oh, yikes, he's gonna get hit. Yep, he was gonna get hit. Number four, T-Sizzle, too easy. Just too easy, I just read, read that. And just like that, Penn State is up three to zero. And Penn State gets another point if Penn State gets another point um, in the second half, we're going to have a running clock. We're going to have a running clock, y'all. Crazy. All right, cool. So we're going to halftime. Penn State is up three to zero against UVA. Anywho, Penn State, Penn State fans, as well as everyone else who's been watching the stream, if you've been enjoying the commentating, the live stream, the energy and the excitement, and you want to give back towards the NCDA so that way we have more opportunities to do this, not only for Penn State, but for also for other teams within the league. Feel free to donate at our PayPal, our handle, at NCDA Dodgeball. With that being said, I'm going to very quickly go over our... Um, where the money is going. So when you do donate, you know that your money is actually being utilized correctly. The NCDA is a nonprofit, sorry, the NCDA is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And so when you donate your money towards the NCDA, it is tax deductible. It is tax deductible. Um, so with that being said, if you donate towards the NCDA, we have three different funds. We have the scholarship fund, we have the officiary fund, and we also have the recruitment and retention fund. 
So the scholarship fund. I know some of you guys are alumni, some of you parents, you know, you have students that are currently, you know, playing within the NCDA, and you know that they need work experience. And you know, with COVID and with education, you know, becoming more popular by a lot of these companies, a lot of these majors and whatnot are becoming very, very saturated. And one of the big difference makers, you know, between one person getting a job and another person not getting a job, they can actually pay them somewhat of a decent salary to where they can actually begin the process of creating a better lifestyle for their family is work experience. The scholarship fund will give college athletes within the NCDA an opportunity to do a pay, that's right, a pay internship to do work on behalf of the NCDA. Stuff like rule books, live streaming, video editing, administrative work, anything that the NCDA deems important, marketing team, um, social media intern, whatever the team needs, it's gonna you know, help you out in that particular department. The officiary fund, we have some Towson alumni, they're not getting paid to do this. But what this does is if, you know, we need refs not only for national but for tournaments, if you put money towards this particular fund, the officiated fund, this is going to provide referee shirts, whistles, definitely need a whistle because there was a lot of craziness happening um, today, a lot of craziness. Um, and also penny shirts for ball retrievers. What this will do, this will help increase the participation and quality of refing. So when we have better refs, you're going to have better games. There's going to be less bias. You're going to have less bad calls. It's just a win-win situation for everybody. And last and not least, but probably something that's very dear to my heart, is the recruitment and retention fund. So it's no secret that COVID-19 has been abysmal and have literally decimated some of the recruiting effort for some of these schools. Some schools like Penn State have been able to recruit very, very well. Some schools, unfortunately, like Western Michigan and, U and, uh, and VCU, not so much. So when you put money towards this particular fund, what this would do is gonna help with recruiting and retaining those teams. It's also gonna help maintain our lead ambassador program. So what this does, this is gonna give ambassadors the opportunity to travel to local teams to help out as practices as well as in turn as attending involvement fairs to recruit new teams which also means this also creates an opportunity for somebody like myself to actually do live streaming for your team as well not yet um, I don't get paid to do this but you put money towards this particular fund this will actually potentially help cover some of my travel costs All right, and we good. All right, both sides get set. So yeah, no pressure. You you are free to donate towards the NCDA or not, but we appreciate your support, nevertheless. And it looks like whoa 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 whoa. Definitely need a reset. Yeah, last thing I forgot to mention with the recruitment and retention fund, the fund will also create care packages for every new team to be successful in their development. So yeah, so if you guys want potential more live streaming opportunities to where we actually travel to your universities, create these video, create these highlights to help in the effort of recruitment and retention, you can give money towards this fund. This creates more opportunities for people like myself and others to actually travel on behalf of the NCDA and to help your teams retain and recruit your players. Woo! Yeah. That was vicious. That was vicious. Woo! That was a headshot. Yeah. Missed catch. Yeah. Woo! That was a shot. Yeah, he hit him below the belt. And unfortunately, that was caught on stream. Can't blame Jake, man. He's been having a, he's been having a tough day.
That's right, we are Penn State. Woo! That's right, we're gonna be saying that all day, ladies and gentlemen. We are Penn State. Woo! Jake's just firing off now, he has seen enough. Penn State still taking down some of their players. But it looked like UVA has found their offense just in the nick of time. Woo! Yeah, it looked like Jake is going to be the hammer and not the nail. He's not playing no games no more. He has seen enough. Looked like he's going to take matters with his own hands. He was telling me that he wasn't feeling good to throw. I don't know what happened. Somebody may have talked to him. But he's ready. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. I am a professional. Oh, what a catch. Oh, he did it so nonchalantly, too. I love it. Number seven, T Sizzle with another beautiful catch. Somehow my video equipment still survived all of this. Another block. T Sizzle makes his move, does not get it. Turn the crown mic down a little bit. My goodness, getting a little rowdy. A little crazy, crazy. Not a lot of people in here, so we, we can kind of settle down a little bit. Here it comes. Oh my God! Oh, Jake! Sir, you are a savage. Absolutely just tattoo him and send him off to next week. Never was able to recover. Jake does not care. Equal rights mean equal consequences. He does not care, man, woman, child, or beast. If you're on the court and he sees you, he's going to take you out. Normally, Jake is very calm, cool, collective as a strategist. Right now, he's not being calm, cool, and collected. That is a catch for UVA, and he's just turned on the Jets. And that's another kill for Jake Coleman, and the energy is fired up. He wants it, and he's taken out Penn State one by one. A block with conviction. Another kill by Jake Corbett. Grown man make grown man decisions. And Jake with the confidence. Another kill. That's another kill for Jake. That is another kill for Jake. Jake. Oh, almost ground. Jake is just firing off. Pretty much just rolling his team back into this game. But Kelly, is that a kill? It's a block. Jake, Lily turned on the Super Saiyan. Does not care. He just, he wants all the smoke. He wants all the smoke. Jake wants all the smoke, y'all. He does not care no more. He sees it, he's coming after him. Penn State looking a little bit disorientated for the first time in this game. Three players left for Penn State. More than six for UVA. More than six kills. More than six kills by Jake alone. Jesus. That was an overhand power throw to a woman. I do not know your name. My apologies. I am not trying to be sexist. I am not. I legitimately do not know your name because we... I do not have the roster in front of my face. I do apologize for that. Kelly, team throw, does not get it. Penn State doing a good job surviving this point. Here it comes. Good block. Jesus. She got to watch out. You can't put your hands up like that. That's a sure way to break your arm or fingers. Miss catch. Kelly with the kill, taking out number seven. Two players left for Penn State. Good block. First time that Penn State's being pushed in this game. Not bad. Not bad. She's still in somehow. She is still in. Two players left for Penn State. Still more than four for UVA. 
Team throw. He's still safe. Easy catch for Corman, last player. He understands that they will get the point. And I think that was another kill for Jake. Jake has been responsible within that game for at least nine kills by himself. Either by catching or throwing. Jake Corman, number two, your UVA head captain pretty much put the entire team on his chest. Sorry, his back. On his back. He literally carried his team on his back by himself. 14.40 left in the second half. Jake Corman, sir. And that's the crazy thing too, yo. He has something that I call that control anger. Like he utilized his emotions in the correct manner. Jake is a very calm, cool, collective individual. My man doesn't really get intense like that unless it's absolutely, absolutely necessary. And oh my God, like I, I saw, we always knew, like for those of you who are very familiar with UVA and also very familiar with East Coast Dodgeball, you know that Jake has always had this potential. Jeremy Shaw, Zane Dermott, they've been telling me for years, listen, man, Jake Coleman, you need, you need to be on the lookout for him. At the time, I didn't understand what they were saying. I understand now. Jeremy Shaw, arguably one of the best players that came out of UVA, arguably one of the best players from the East Coast within the past three years, arguably one of the best players from Ohio said it best, best player in UVA history. And honestly, Dr. Shaw, I know I can call you Jeremy because we've been friends for years, but I will put respect in your name, sir. Dr. Shaw, you are absolutely correct. And that's saying a lot too, because personally, I would say that Zane, your mentee, is the best player that ever came from UVA, but Jake Corman got me saying otherwise. Jake Corman is the best player that ever came out of UVA without question. That's an easy catch though, my goodness. UVA gotta get these two points to force overtime. But Kelly, with the grown man moves, you cannot throw. You gotta get off the court quickly, sir. You can't. You... Like I said, you can't throw easy catches. That's a kill. That is a kill. Woo, that's a kill. That's a kill for Christian, the shiftiness. Woo. The shiftiness continues. That's another kill. Finally taking out Kelly. Oh, that's a miscast. Oh, wait a minute. Is he in? He got pushed out. It does not count. No. He's saying, no, the head ref is saying that he was pushed out. That was close. Jake Corman tried to go for a diving catch and he could not get it. That could be costly for UVA. He's creeping. He's ready. He, he's about to unleash. Low throw, nothing. But very crafty nevertheless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zane's coming in at a hot second. I'm talking about like Jake and then Zane. It's like not much differential, man. Not much. Not much. But when, but when my man Zane told me straight up, it's like, oh yeah, Jake Coleman is better than me, and I said that, and 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 I said that, you know, Zane was the best player from UVA, and he told me straight, and and 
and Zane was very respectful. He was like, Shudi, I appreciate that. I really do. But Jake is better than me. I'm like, oh. It's like, you're not just saying that to be nice. That's a kill by 41, take it out. Number 28, Christian, he may have just injured his finger. It's like, you're not being nice to me? He's like, no, Shudi, I'm telling you the truth. I'm like, okay. It's like, okay, I respect that. Jake is not in the game. Woo! That was close. Jake's not in the game. Christian's not in the game. Head captains for both teams not in the game. Timeout call. We got my man, the legend, Zach. I got to go with Dr. Shaw as the best UVA player. I never hesitate to solo throw at anybody else. Much respect to you, sir. 11 17 left in the second half. The score is 3 to 1. Penn State is trying to go. Really, let's just pause for a second. For those of you who tuned in for the first time, Penn State has successfully defeated JMU for the first time in their history, 3 to 2. They follow up beating Maryland, 3 to 1. They're currently up 3 to 1 at UVA. If they win today, they will have. They will have a winning record at this tournament playing the most games. But yeah, I think we do have a Penn State play with an ankle injury. He was trying to make a catch. He wasn't able to corral it. And I think his landing kind of hurt him it hurt him just a bit. Yeah, uh oh, okay, he cannot put any weight on his ankle. But yes, Mr. White, I want to say thank you. Ah, yes, UVA. He said, all right, so Mr. White has donated $20 to the NCDA recruitment fund. He said, thanks for streaming UVA's team today. No problem, sir. Thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Double kill, the double kill. And Jeremy Shaw, five year anniversary follower for the NCDA. You love to see it. You love to see it. We got my man Zach, one year anniversary as a follower. I love it. Yeah, keep them coming, y'all. Woo, that was good. Penn State may have lost a little bit of steam. Oh, that's a kill. Good job by number nine, number nine McCormick. Not bad, not a bad throw, 49, not bad. Actually, that's 64, my apologies. Seems like UVA is losing a little bit of steam. Ground. Oh, he could not catch it. Oh, that's a catch. 49 goes down. 
two plays left for UVA. Pump fake. Three plays left for UVA, my apologies. Woo, close. Unfortunately, uh, do not know the score for a JMU, and unfortunately, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I think the real question is, is JMU going to get a win today? That's an honest question. That's not even Shay. Like, that's just being transparent. I think they will get a win. I think they will get a win. I don't think that's in question. It's just kind of weird just thinking that JMU coming in with a losing record. Oh, he caught it. He got hit. The catch is good. The catch is good, but he got hit. No. No, the catch is good. The catch is good, but he still got hit. Ha. The anniversary is a lie, Jack. It's a lie, Zach. Hey, I'm just telling you what Facebook is telling me. You've been following the NCAA since freshman year? Fair enough. Yeah, that's a kill. All right, so they was up 2-0 to zero at Maryland at the half. Don't know the current score. All right, so conventional wisdom would say that they should get the dub. And he got hit. One player left for UVA. catch. He got hit. Uh, hold up. Let's see if the catch still counts, though. Whew. Lord Jesus. The catch is good. The catch is good. And the out. And that's another point. That is another point for Penn State. You already know the drill, guys. You already know the drill. If you're from Penn State, you already know what to say. If you're not from Penn State, just read the comment section. Just read the comment section. And they will tell you. I would say it, but... Um, that um, that four hours of sleep is starting to kick in now. And it's starting to kick my you-know-what. I haven't ate anything all day, and I just had some water. Whew. I just had some water earlier, man, so I'm kind of tired. There you go. We are Penn State. That's right. We are Penn State. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Can someone, like, donate the league some money so I can get something to eat today? I'm not even joking. I'm not going to eat till, like, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. 
Fast scene, I'm telling you. Oh, she made it! She made the catch! She made the catch. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm, so I'm doing like this new thing with this fasting that I don't eat until at least 11 o'clock a.m. in the morning. And I can't eat after 7 o'clock. That window is getting real short, y'all. I'm being like real short. I'm hurting. Not even going to lie to y'all. I'm hurting, y'all. Anyone who knows me knows that I love to eat. What a kill by Jake. Two kills right off the bat for UVA. Yeah, but anyone who knows me really well knows that I love to eat. And um, yeah, been fasting for at least over 15 hours. So it's been a grind. It's been a grind. But I do it for, but I do it for the college athletes, man. I do it for the NCDA. It is what it is. We'll tough it out. We'll tough it out. Woo! What a kill by OK Boomer. Oh, wait, no, that's a catch. Wow. Huh? What just happened, though? I don't know. Kelly, looking to push. Woo! Oh, 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 man, he had my man turning sideways. Another kill for UVA. They pushing up the tempo. Woo, another kill for UVA. Their offense is looking a lot better right now. And just like that, Penn State is almost on the 10 count. All right, number seven, he got it. Woo, good throw by Jake. This kind of misses target. Woo! Okay. Okay. Yikes. Oh, another missed catch. Another missed catch for Penn State. Just like that, they are on the 10 count. How much time is left? 3.53 left in the game. Unfortunately, Another kill against Penn State. May not be enough time for UVA to do something, but they might get this point. Four players left for Penn State. Three players left now. Was four, now three. Good team throw by UVA. God, got him! Got him! 41 gets knocked out because the ball was in his head and his hand and could not get it. She could not get the catch. Two players left for Penn State. Number seven, good throw, could not get it. It might still be in. Oh, that's another kill by number seven. Take it out number, take it out number zero. Good block. Oh, he could not get it. Oh, wait a minute. What an effort, but he was out of bounds. He was out of bounds. What a valid effort. But he could not get one piece of body in the on the court. Extremely athletic. Jake looking to put somebody in a body basket. Never mind, he just does a soft change up. And for good reason. Timeout call by Penn State. Two minutes. Uh, excuse me, my apologies. Ooh, two minutes and six seconds left in the game. Your back foot came up before, like, so I already stepped out the ball. Yes, you really do have to appreciate the effort. That's one thing I really do appreciate about UVA. They could have been like, you know what, we're down, we're losing, we're not going to play with energy, we're not going to play for, in this case, 40 minutes because we're playing two 20-minute halves. Normally we play 
two 25 minute half being 50 minutes long. But I've always will give credit to UVA for playing to the very end, no matter what's going on. I really do appreciate that about them. I really do. I definitely need to get some water though, man, or else I'm not gonna make it. And I'm just gonna tell you that much right now. I may not need food, but I do need something to drink. And unfortunately, I'm not even 100% sure I'm gonna have enough time to run on my car to get some water. Not because I'm dehydrated, but because <laughs> I just need it for my body. Whew. Boy, Jesus. I gotta get something to drink. Anywho, already long throw. Nine. That will Jake. Good block. Woo. Uh oh. Jake wanted to get him to bleed at least one more ball. Catch me. Shit. Oh no, you can't be kicking the ball. What are you doing? What are you doing? And there goes a disrespect. I know, I know, it's, I, I know, no, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, hold up. And that's the end of the game, y'all. Penn State wins once again. Once again, they win. Let's see what Penn State have to say. Girl, don't be complacent You better take time uh -huh. You put me 